All right, today we're gonna peel back the layers on that smartphone in your pocket and uncover a pretty surprising truth about what off really means. You think switching to airplane mode makes you invisible, right? No calls, no data, no tracking. I mean, it's the universal signal for I'm going off the grid, the digital version of hanging a do not disturb sign on your door. But that peace of mind, it might just be built on a myth. Because here's the thing, even when you tell it to be silent, your phone is still talking. It's not the loud conversation of a phone call, no. It's more like a subtle, constant whisper, happening through layers you can't even see. And get this, even without Wi-Fi, without Bluetooth, or any mobile data, your device is still emitting traces that governments and intelligence agencies can follow. So the real question is, how is that even possible? Well, the answer starts with a piece of hardware you've probably never thought about. See, your phone has a second brain. And this hidden component, it never really goes to sleep. So check this out. It's like your phone has two different brains working at once. On one side, you've got the main processor. That's the one running your apps, your operating system, you know, the part you actually interact with every day. But lurking in the shadows is the baseband processor. It's the thing that connects you to the cell network, it runs its own secret OS, and here's the kicker, it doesn't always fully disconnect when you hit airplane mode. To put it another way, the baseband processor is literally a separate computer inside your phone. It's a total black box, its software is proprietary and closed source, which means not even Apple or Google really know everything it's doing. Its job is to handle all the radio communications, and its first loyalty is to the cell network, not necessarily to you. And that right there, that creates a massive vulnerability. Even in airplane mode, the baseband can receive certain signals from the network. And intelligence agencies, they've known about this for years. The Snowden leaks blew the lid off the NSA's dropout Jeep program, an exploit specifically designed to target this chip. With it, a compromised phone could be remotely turned on, its location tracked, even its microphone activated, all while your screen shows that comforting little airplane icon. And this weakness is only becoming more permanent as our hardware evolves. The next layer we need to talk about is your phone's permanent digital ID and how the eSIM is a total game changer for surveillance. You know how you used to be able to just pop your little plastic SIM card out? Maybe even snap it in half if you were really trying to go off-grid? Well, you can't do that with an eSIM. It's a digital chip that's soldered right onto your phone's motherboard. There's no physical way to remove it. Super convenient for switching carriers, sure, but it has a huge security downside. This permanent hardware creates a constant digital connection. Your eSIM is managed remotely, but even if you delete every single profile off your phone, the chip itself can still send out little authentication beacons to the network. Plus, a lot of phone modems are designed to stay partly awake for emergency services. It's a safety feature, for sure, but it also creates a persistent back door that can be exploited. Okay, okay, I get what you're thinking. The radios are compromised, the baseband is a black box, fine. But what if you could find some magic button to turn all of it off? Surely you'd be safe then, right? Well, not quite. This brings us to a much more advanced, much more subtle kind of tracking. It's called tracking without transmitting. Your phone leaves these ghostly fingerprints in the air, whether it's trying to send a signal or not. Think about it. Every single electronic device has its own unique hum, its own energy signature. Even when all the radios are supposedly off, your phone's internal parts, the clock, the power unit, are emitting these tiny, unique micro signals. These little radio frequency harmonics are as unique to your device as a fingerprint. And of course, intelligence agencies have a technique to exploit this, it's called passive RF fingerprinting. Using super sensitive receivers, they can detect and identify your specific device just from these tiny unintentional emissions. Your phone doesn't need to be calling or texting or on Wi-Fi. It just needs to be on. They are literally listening for the electronic ghost of your phone. Now, I know this sounds like something straight out of a spy movie, but I promise you, this has moved way beyond theory. Let's look at how these techniques are actually being used in the real world. So first, the Snowden leaks pulled back the curtain and showed us this was possible. Then, by 2020, reports started popping up of law enforcement in Europe using these exact methods to track suspects whose phones were in airplane mode. And today, these techniques are actively used by military drones, border surveillance units, and intelligence agencies all over the world. This isn't a future threat, it's happening right now. All right, I know this all sounds pretty bleak. So, what can you actually do? Is there a real off switch? 
The good news is, yes, there are practical steps you can take to get true digital silence. First, and this is the simplest, power your device all the way down. Don't just put it to sleep, hold that button and shut it off. Second, if you really want to be sure, put it inside a Faraday pouch. This is basically a bag that creates an electronic cage blocking any and all signals from getting in or out. And for those who need next level security, you can look into open source phones like the Librem 5, which are designed to give you way more control over the hardware itself. At the end of the day, the biggest takeaway is this. Airplane mode is for convenience. It's to save your battery and follow airline rules. It was never, ever designed to be a security feature. And that leaves us with this one kind of chilling thought. Governments don't need to hack your apps when they can just talk to the hardware itself. So the next time you toggle that little switch, just remember, privacy is an illusion when the hardware in your hand ultimately obeys another master.